Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the month of June. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, yeah, so this is for Sagittarius. What do we have coming for June? What is happening in June? Now keep in mind that this may not resonate the moment you watch it. You may need to watch it at the end of the month or in the middle of the month or... You know, maybe it's not for you. Sometimes they're for you. Sometimes they're not. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got? You know, it came out reversed. I'm going to leave it reversed. All tied up. I think you guys have been stuck. You, you may have been trapped in a situation. Or, you know, you, maybe you were trapped in your own prison. Whatever this is. Um, Sorry about that. This is you guys getting unstuck, getting untied, breaking free. So, you know, things are probably starting to open up for you. Maybe you're starting to feel more free. Maybe you're starting to feel more freedom. Maybe it's even freedom within. Freedom, you know, from whatever situation that you have been in. I just got to put that computer on mute. So this is getting unstuck, getting untied from a situation. It's like life is changing for you. Things are starting to open up, or they're going to be. What do we have for Sagittarius? Perseverance, huh? Your perseverance, your strength, your stamina, your confidence is paying off. You may still have some doubt. You may still have some fear, but you have come a long way. You have come a long way. That determination shows, put it that way. People may be a little bit intimidated by your strength. You're really showing up, right? You're really showing people how strong you are. I see that. You've been wounded. You have been wounded, but... Your, your perseverance is, like, unfaltering, whatever. Ooh, King of Wands, reverse, ah! So, some of you may be still feeling, you may be having, you may still have some doubt, okay? You may lack some confidence, you know? I see that you have confidence. Don't let yourself go backwards. Um, this is loss of focus, loss of concentration, you may at times feel like giving up. Don't give up. You've come so far. Don't give up. You have come a long ways. You may you could be dealing with people that steal your energy at times. Protect yourself for the, from those people. Be careful. You probably have an energy thief like we've talked about before. The Seven of Swords reversed. You know, be careful. All right? Five of Cups. Focusing on a loss when you have a better opportunity. Remember that you always have a better opportunity. There's no need to focus on pain, focus on disappointment. Some of you are still grieving. Some of you are still... You may have some regrets. Like I said, you guys are dropping something. You're breaking free from something. You're making conscious changes in your life. But you still need to protect yourself. It feels like you still need to protect yourself. And you probably feel that need to protect yourself. There could be some bitterness here. There could be some resentment. Maybe you're dealing with a person. You could be dealing with a person that is hard to deal with. Somebody that causes animosity within you. You could that you know that 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 fights with you that cause you know somebody that is very almost like a vindictive energy. It's like this person probably doesn't want you to I don't know, maybe they don't want you to let them go. Maybe they don't want you to change, maybe they don't want you to rise above them. There's a lot of pettiness here. There is some pettiness here. I see that. I feel that. 
I feel like we got somebody here that just doesn't want you to rise. And we talk about this a lot, Sagittarius. You have a better opportunity, and I think that you know that. Maybe you, you feel guilty for moving forward. You feel guilty for your own success. <laughs> you know, Nine of Swords reversed. I think that you need to be really definitely be careful with this card and this card. Be careful. Give deep thought to who the people that you deal with. You could, you're dealing with somebody who that doesn't have good intentions. And I think that your gut is telling you that. But this is dropping something. And don't let guilt get in the way. I definitely feel like you feel guilty. Stop feeling guilty. If you're dealing with a person that doesn't put in effort, that doesn't want you to succeed or is, is hindering your success, it's like you can't fight gravity, right? It's like this person just is bringing you down, bringing you down. It's like you're trying to fix things. You're trying to build yourself up. You're trying to be successful. And you got somebody that just wants to take you down. Son of a bitch, when is this going to change? Well, you are getting unstuck, so maybe it is starting to change. This is you protecting yourself. Protect yourself. Protect your energy, please. Keep doing what you're doing because your perseverance and your hard work is paying off. It really is. Two of Cups. This is partnership. This is union. This is compatible. Compatible union is on the horizon. Compatible partnership. Where you will have mutual respect. Where you won't have to do all the work. You have a new opportunity for something more compatible, something more emotional, fulfilling, if you can stop focusing on the wrong one. Whatever this partnership is that you're focusing on that is has hurt you and has caused you so much grief, stop focusing on it. You have something better. It may not look like anything like the last one. It may be completely <laughs> different. Completely, 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 completely different. But it... It's very much more compatible and it will help you. It will help you to bring more success to your life. This is a more compatible union where there's mutual respect. There's mutual um, reciprocation. It's easy. Okay. Let me just make sure that this is focused. I think that you guys are getting unstuck from a situation that has really tried you. It has really, really kept you, you know, almost like in prison. And I think you have given deep thought and I think something is about to change. I do see, I do think, see something changing. This is a conscious change. This is you making a conscious change to drop something. It's like your gut has told you that, you know, this is, this is, this is a lie. This is, this is a thief. This is thievery. This is, you know, I'm being robbed of success staying in this situation. So you guys are an, un, uh, a, partnership by the looks of things you've been somebody's been holding on to something where there's no emotional fulfillment and you may have allowed yourself to stay a victim of this circumstance but I don't think you're gonna anymore I feel as though something better is coming more more stability more security more um feeling if you haven't been feeling very comfortable where you're at I think that comfort is gonna start to come back there could be a change in your living circumstances. You know, I think that we have a partnership that is coming that is going to make you very, very happy. If you are single, for sure. Uh, you know, this is, this is a... You know, where there's a lot of working together, whatever this partnership is. There's working together, there's building 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 
very comfortable situation, put it that way. Happiness, growth. This is a bright, 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 bright new opportunity for you. And I think that you are shining bright. You are shining very brightly. This is a rebirth. This is a renewal for you. Some of you are dealing with an abusive individual. You have been. Somebody that doesn't have your best intentions at heart. Somebody that is only out to hurt you. And the thing is, is I think that you know that, but maybe some of you have been in denial. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, perhaps. Could be a false soulmate connection. And you have somebody better. You do have some, you do have an opportunity for love here with somebody that maybe this person could be of a def, different ethnic culture of you. You know, this person is different than you in a big way, but they can make you very, very, very happy. Could be a Leo coming into your life. Doesn't have to be. Um, I see that your abundance is going to be increasing. There's an increase in abundance. There's an increase in stability. There's an increase in security. Some of you are moving. You're moving to a happier place. A new partnership, put it that way. There's been a there's been a there's been a uh, a loss of abundance, and somebody has been focused on everything but something that was emotionally fulfilling. Right? Somebody's been focused on money. They've been focused on their job. They've been focused on everything but love, and it's caused. It's almost like it's caused everything else to go downhill. There's been some stormy weather, put it that way. Anyway, I, things are about to change. Things are about to change for the better. I see something, happiness, it, seriously. Happiness, you're going to start to feel more happy. Your, your happiness is coming back. We have potential for a very happy union, a very happy partnership that could grow into something big. Brand new beginning, major new beginning. This is a... This is, I mean, this is your new chapter. This is your new life. You've learned some sort of lesson here. This is success, okay? You have learned a, a successful lesson, and it's time for you to step over that finish line and start your new life. This is a major new beginning here. One, one, cha one phase, not chapter. This is a phase, something big. You have learned a big, huge life lesson here, and it's about perseverance, the very first card. It's about persevering through hard times. It's about standing up for yourself. It's about protecting yourself. It's about putting yourself first. It's about not quitting. It's about doing what's right for you. That's what this lesson was. It's about, it's like rising up from the ashes. No kidding. This is this is what this this is what I'm hearing. It's like I think that you have you've come from a point of being trapped in a situation that was bringing you nowhere, and it's like you wrote you rose above it. Now you've learned some sort of lesson. You got a major new beginning here. That season of your life is over. I'm starting to get the goosebumps. It's time. It's time for your happiness. It is. You got a happy new union here. Something that's going to make you very, very, very happy. So yeah, you got a major new beginning coming in. It's you may not you, you may be a little surprised that this isn't what you expected. It's not what you expected. It's not. You probably are distrustful. You probably don't trust because you've been lied to, because you've been deceived, because you've been betrayed. You probably don't trust. But this person, whoever this person is that is coming in to help you or wants to work with you that can make you happy, this person has good intentions. I don't. I think that you were dealing with somebody that didn't have good intentions, yes. And I think that you've been focused on it for quite some time. But I think you are beginning to realize that you have a better option. And you're moving in a new direction, Sagittarius, towards victory and success. This is major life transformation. Major life transformation for you. I think because you have found that mental strength to take back control. I see discipline. I see willpower. 
I see faith and, and a lot of mental strength here. Because you have taken the driver's seat and you have taken back control, I see you guys moving very quickly towards victory and success. Definitely. Very much so. Um... You're headed in a new direction. You're headed away from a greedy individual who really brought you down. You're headed away from this person. And you're headed towards somebody who actually wants to work with you. Somebody that will collaborate. Somebody that will compromise. Somebody that will respect you. Mutual respect. And no kidding. No kidding. You're headed towards somebody who... will give to a situation. You're going to be receiving something as well. Mutual. No more one-sided bullshit. Yeah, somebody's been in a, a situation where there was no growth. Somebody's been weighed down by an individual who basically was holding them down. It's like every time you'd get a step up, they'd bring you down. You'd step two steps up, they'd bring you know, they'd bring you down three, you know? You son of a god. Yeah. Some you know, and it's been going on for a long time. You go up, they bring you down. You go up, they bring you down. That's what I see. They were it's like they were blocking your success. Greedy individual, selfish. It's almost like they were after your money and they didn't want to pay you or they they want they just wanted your money whoever it is that you were dealing with. There's, there was no love there, but I think that you have. You have a, a, a partnership coming in that is truly a lot more compatible. It's nothing like you expected, put it that way. You may, and I think that you have been resisting change because it was comfortable with whoever it is that you were dealing with. Yeah, it was comfortable, but it wasn't, it wasn't emotionally fulfilling. It's like you weren't excited about it. It stole your energy. But now you've learned a lesson about something. This is a lesson has been learned about probably abuse of some sort. You've been abused. I mean, the King of Swords reversed. That's abuse. Somebody's seriously stolen your energy for long enough. Constant battle. Okay. Between you and this other partnership, a constant freaking battle. Whoever and with the Queen of Cups reverse, whoever you were dealing with, the King of Swords reverse, they were they were cold, cold hearted individual, cold hearted partnership, whatever it was. But you have learned some sort of lesson. I think you guys are traveling to a new destination. We have travel here, so some of you are traveling to a new place. You may be moving, okay, literally moving, like moving home to some place. Moving, maybe you're moving in with somebody, or or somebody's moving out, or something's happening. This is relationship. This is a new relationship. Relationship growth. This is an offer of love. So if you are single and you have been waiting for an offer of love, you could be receiving one. You could be receiving an offer of love that moves forward very quickly. This is fast movement. This is reciprocation. You, you could be moving into a relationship where... <laughs> There's equal give and take, and it happens pretty quickly. Could be with a cancer. Cancer could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it could be a cancer. Could be a, it could be a water. I think it's a water sign at this point. A significant phase in your life. A sig and this is something big, okay, has ended. I think you guys has, have been resisting it. You've been resisting this ending. You've been resisting this new beginning because you were probably in a com you were comfortable. Even though there was, you know, a need to protect yourself and there was constant battle. It was constant bickering, okay, with that. There's a seven of wands under there. You know, I think there was a reverse. There's been a, there's been, it's been a constant battle. I think even though it was constant, it was still comfortable. It was home, right? Or it was whatever. And now it's like this is over. It's over. 
It's the end. It's the end of that relationship and the beginning of a new one. So I see something big for you. This is big. You guys, were, this is karmic lesson. Justice, karma, lesson. It's a karmic lesson. You guys were just in, you guys have just learned some sort of karmic lesson about happiness, sun card underneath, about going after happiness, about your own happiness. You guys are reluctant to move on, reluctant to take a new approach. And that reluctance has left you in a troublesome situation. But we do have somebody moving forward. Definitely. Investing in something else. There's no more growth here. It's time to invest in something else. It's time to relocate. Some of you are relocating. There's no more growth where you're at. No matter what you do, it's time to plant your seed someplace else. And I think that's what's happening. Jeez, um. So yeah, we have this new enterprise, this new opportunity being presented to you. I think that you're going down this new road. You're going down this, this new path that is going to lead you to something more abundant. So deep, get prepared. Get prepared because you have a new partnership that is going to be more successful, going to be coming into your life this month. You're probably going to receive a message that lead you down this new path, whatever it is, you're going to receive an offer from somebody that is, it's, it's a big one. You're going to receive a big offer from somebody that you're probably, you're probably scared of, but you're probably reluctant, but I think you're going to take it. Because you probably know it's time. It's time. It's time to go after what you deserve. And I think you're going to be receiving, you are receiving something from somebody that maybe you have been waiting for this. So get ready. You're, get, you're getting unstuck from an unjust situation. Unstuck from an unjust situation. It's time. It's time for your new life. It's time for your new beginning. You've learned some sort of karmic lesson about perseverance, about strength. That phase of your life is over. You have a new partnership here that will be successful. A new successful partnership. No kidding. Coming into focus. I mean, coming in, let's put that right in focus for you because that's what's going to happen. So, good luck. That's what I got.